in this video we will be adding a chart on this table which will be based on the max seat available in the aircraft and the seat occupied let's start so to add a chart onto a table we have certain annotations available some ui annotations which we'll be using here so the ui annotation for adding a chart we have a chart annotation and uh, which is an array uh, takes certain amount of uh, different properties so very first property is let's take the chart type and uh, there are various different chart types available to be used but we are mainly interested into donut chart here and uh, the next property which we need to set is the measure okay so measure v is the property which tells in which column the calculated value is available okay so this column we haven't calculated yet but let's add it with the name uh, we can call it occupied percentage so this one is not yet available in the cds view but we will be calculating this value soon okay now the next parameter would be uh, once this measure is available there are certain attributes which we need to set for measure and uh, that will again be an array and uh, the very first property which we need to set is again some measure and uh, we'll take the same name here and paste the next property is a role so the role would be axis and uh, when we use the bar chart we we add the x-axis and y-axis but in case of donut chart there is only one axis so we will provide axis 1 if you if you anyway put axis 2 axis 3 that will not make any difference it's what i have observed so uh, we will be using the axis 1 here and uh, uh, this chart would be used with the data points so uh, another property as data point we need to set it true now uh, there can be multiple charts available or multiple column with different type of charts so we already have seen another property which we normally set is qualifier so this is the name which uniquely identify your column with uh, certain data so a qualifier could could be anything like chart occupied percentage you can give any name here which just uniquely identify your data or your column so these are only the properties which we need to set in the chart ui now the next thing which we need to do is we need to create this major column where the percentage would be there and uh, those percentage will then be attached with this chart to show the chart okay so for that let's move down and we will be adding a new line item here okay so at the rate ui dot line item and the position would be 80 and 
the label would be occupied percentage okay and what value you want to show here is a calculated percentage of max seat and the occupied seat okay so for that we will be using some calculation so for calculating the percentage we will be using this function okay so argument one would be your uh, occupied seats so occupied seats are coming in this parameter the second argument would tell you how many are the maximum seats and uh, the decimal point so we if there is any fraction which will not be there in this case but let's put two here and uh, what would be we are calling this so no we need to get the percentage right so into 100 and then as our column details would be coming into this field which is the measure which we have set under the measure okay now activate it so it got activated and uh, let's refresh now okay so we are getting a new column here which says occupied percentage and it is calculating the percentage how much percentage this aircraft is occupied okay so now what we need to do is we do not want these numbers to be shown here but instead we want some chart needs to be displayed over here okay so for that we need to convert this column to a chart type and then we need to set the data points what is the minimum value and what is the maximum values okay so for that let's make some small changes here so very first thing what we will do is we will change this line item from a standard type to a chart type okay so for that we have a property called type and by default it's a standard so we will be removing it and we will call it as a chart so now this column will be treated not as a standard column but as a chart column now which which data you want to display here okay so for that we already have a qualifier set so what was our qualifier our qualifier was this one so let's copy this and paste it here let's make some more room here so we have set the qualifier and then the next parameter what we want to set is uh, okay let's let's keep it this much only now the line item has been set means this column will be treated as a chart type and uh, for unique identification we have added the qualifier as well for this specific column now to show the chart we need to add a new annotation which is at the rate ui dot data point okay so here we will be setting certain values which will show how this chart will be rendered what would be the minimum value and what would be the maximum values means uh, deviation range or tolerance value we are setting here when to show it in the green color when to show it in orange color and when to show it in the red color so basically we are calculating the criticality so 
the parameter is criticality calculation okay and for that we need to set some parameter values so first value is deviation range low value okay so this will identify what is the minimum value what is the minimum tolerance value okay so if the occupation occupied percentage goes below this value then it will turn into red so we will be keeping it uh, let's see what are all the values minimum values so 96 and uh, so let's take uh, let's take if it goes below 50 percent then uh, it will turn into red and then tolerance range low value we will be setting it to say 75 or make it 70 okay and uh, another parameter which we need to set is the improvement direction the improvement direction how what what actually you are showing here so we want to show when this value is maximum then the improvement would be there right so we will be putting it as a maximum here and uh, that's it so we have set the line item we have created a column which we converted to a chart type and then for unique identification for chart we have added a qualifier here which we have maintained here this one and then for showing the column or chart for uh, criticality calculation we have used ui dot data point with criticality calculation so 50 below 50 it will be red and uh, uh, more than 70 percent it will be green and in between these two will be orange okay so let's activate it it got activated and uh, refresh okay so we got some charts getting rendered here so these are 97 percent and they are in the green color and the rest both are in the red color so let's try and select some other airline to get some more data let's see so quantis okay so we are seeing here one orange color as well so this is in between the 50 and the 70 okay that's why it is showing into orange color and this is below 50 that's why it is showing into the red color now we probably do not need these two columns so we will be removing them so for that we just need to comment out these two lines activate and uh, refresh okay so now we are seeing the details with occupied percentage and we are showing a donut chart here with the percentage inside that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please subscribe to my channel thank you